So Simo said right over here that he wants them, you know, just in terms of what he should basically just um add to Roblox Jailbreak to like polish the game up. Today I have a bunch of stuff right over here that he could go ahead and add. I'm gonna start with the stuff that's more well known and then I'm probably gonna go into like less known stuff. So first I'm gonna go and do here is I'm gonna probably start with a closet. The jury is there. Yeah, now they are going to uh, start the jury is there. Boom, there we go. And we have the uh, rope glitch. How it works is basically you know you wire up your rope right over here make sure you don't die into a laser and then you get into the sheet you press G and boom there you go you've just glitched your way right into the jury store but now I can go and just complete this I'll be backwards yeah there you go and I can just go like this and boom there you go just go ahead and arrest literally everyone that's right inside of here just like that, and there we go. It's kind of OP, because, you know, cops can just glitch in, and there's not the most criminals can do about it. Also, kind of goes into, like, my next point right here, It's actually kind of necessary for cops to do that. Because of, like, how OP the criminal team kind of is right now, especially with the jetpack and stuff. But, I mean, apart from the rope glitch at the jury store, you can also just glitch underneath the map, and it can be pretty overpowered. So, for cops, the most the useful one would probably be right for the power plant so you go right on top of this hill you go right to the passage so you go right into here and just glitch right into the ground now if i parachute all the way down all the way up here it's just gonna kick me out but it would just bring me right into the power plant and i will be able to rest whoever is inside and that also means that you know like a criminal or someone can just start just glitching underneath the map and basically nothing a cop can do i guess a criminal is doing such a thing and also i guess this is a lot more of an advantage for cops but especially for the two exits a cop can just glitch right in and just camp in like one part of the land and there's basically nothing a criminal can do you may have seen me do it before but um you know i just go right over here go right in the faster seat i just glitch right into here boom there you go now there's quite literally nothing a criminal can do because now I'm glitched right into here and the criminal could just be right over here once they go out I can just go this and go boom there you go arrest surprise attack them do whatever stuff you know there's basically nothing that they could do so I guess let's go and start talking about team imbalances so right inside of we have a huge team imbalance right now before between uh, criminals and cops. So just stay right over here. I'm just gonna see how long it takes for me to build a spawn of vehicles. So I'm just gonna keep on just trying to spawn a random vehicle right over here. So I was this far away and I was able to spawn a vehicle. That seems kind of OP, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, it is kind of overpowered. It's not that much of a distance, and you know that this was still not very much. And I was still just able to just like spawn a car. Get in the uh, army helmet. This next, I'm just going to show you guys how OP this freaking jetpack is. So what I want you to do is just start just jetpacking around here. Let me just try to tase you. Yeah, just start trying to jetpack right over here. Let me just tase. Boom, I went in the shop, but quite literally nothing happened to this person. This time, just start just jetpacking and um, try spawning a vehicle. Okay, so go ahead and start jetpacking. All right, they're going, yep, and now I'm just all the way over here, and, you know, it's not going to be, like, great now. Oh, yep, they just end up being some distance just because of, uh, some stuff. But, yeah, basically, you know, they're just going to run out of field, and then they will just be able to skydive, and, you know, I'm right inside their range, like, right now. But, you know, we currently did a water glitch. And you think they weren't very far away from me, they were just able to spawn a car. Now, more realistically, you know, you might not be able to just easily be able to predict if a chrome just started jetpacking like that. And also, like, yeah, also if you have, like, literally no jetpack, it's quite literally impossible to stop one of these things. And also, another bug here. If you just start, like, um, this is for, like, PC players, um, if you just, like, start, like, pressing V when you're, like, in a vehicle to, like, flip the car, eventually it will just, for some reason, it will just turn off your camera lock, and it's just kind of annoying because you know it's unpredictable and yeah quite an annoying bug but um yeah basically you know as you could see there it's not really that much a cop can do against jetpackers yeah like if we just go like this and you know like um yeah there you go you know like look like i literally just ran inside a straight line and that was just completely regular walk speed and there was literally nothing i could do if i didn't have a jetpack even if i do have a jetpack Either you won't be able to predict that they're just gonna jetpack after like 0.5 seconds and like that like we knew there. Or you might not just have full fuel always on hand or like 
Like, I've actually like, had instances before, too. I just start jetpacking, and I just get anti-cheat all over the place, and that just destroys everything. It kind of leads into, like, my next point right over here, I guess. So, you know, like, uh, you know, we talked about the team imbalances. Next of all, we kind of have, um, just the anti-cheat in general. I don't really need to try to prove it, because everyone knows it at this point, and it's gonna be kind of hard to prove it right inside of this server, because it's a really good server. But, you know, like, okay, it actually just happened right over there. I just got myself, like, teleported. But, um, yeah, you know, you just start just randomly getting teleported all of the time. And, um, also, you know, the handcuffs are very notorious for just randomly breaking just because you got yourself teleport outside of a vehicle but um yeah kind of just about the anti-cheat you just get teleport around a lot and stuff and uh yeah and the handcuffs just break a lot and that's just very very annoying also kind of squeeze into just exploiters especially now they've just made a big resurgence like roughly every six months export just get like a huge resurgence and they get patched again but like, a lot of the times it just takes a really really long time for just like bugs and exploit just to get themselves patched like you know that like a new developer you should probably put him to like doing a lot more like bug fixing stuff because jailbreak just has a lot of them and it's very proven that a SEMO and bad cc can make perfectly good content updates it's that bad cc doesn't like always have the time to patch bugs which is fair but you know they have that other guy i don't see why they couldn't just you know have him do the bug fixing instead also just really to the anti-cheat if you're um you're like you like you know the old anti-spam like you know like um if i just switch between a billion times it just cancels out my stuff yeah that's just kind of annoying because now it doesn't even like matter because you know the current uh anti-spam if um if you just like um if you just like use like a shotgun and a pistol yeah, so you know, like if I just go and just like try this, as you can see, even though I'm like left clicking, it you know, it kind of you know just doesn't really be able to shoot that quickly. So yeah, spam is just completely patched. But you know, I don't know why the old anti spam is still a thing. Cause really, what it does is inside of like super pingy servers, it just makes us like if you just like switch in between like two or three basic things, it just completely craps out. And it's just really annoying, because I would just be switching to like taser and handcuffs, and I would just go da -da 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 -da, and it'll be like, bruh. But yeah, I guess the next thing we can go ahead and go right into is just how like PvP is inside of this game. So there are definitely some like combos that are just like really, really freaking OP. Alright, so now I'm just gonna go and just show you. So you know those like OP combos, yeah. So like I can just go and just like, oof someone that quickly. <laughs> kind of OP, don't you think? It'd be apart from that combo, most of everything else is kind of good. But yeah, then also kind of like the sniper. With certain combos with the sniper, you can also kill kind of quickly, but I guess it's fair. It's not nearly as quickly as that one, though, and not nearly as OP. But that was my other combo I just wanted to talk about, because if you just footlock and shotgun, you can just kill someone very, very instantly. It's not just um, performance issues in general. I personally don't have any performance that she's playing jailbreak now but i definitely used to on my old computer and um lots of people now are having a very very hard time just trying to play jailbreak so like the performance stuff so yeah, i would say try to make jailbreak's performance a lot better and uh yeah mobile compatibility stuff so this is like a bunch of this affects more mobile players but you know one of the reasons why jailbreak player count could be kind of low right now is simply because mobile support inside this game kind of stinks like on mobile like you know how if, if i like press v i can uh, use this instead of using camera lock yeah well on mobile they that doesn't exist and a lot of mobile players prefer being able to just tap to shoot on their screen rather than doing and having camera walk on mobile and also just like a lot of a lot of things just don't work on mobile like tank missile it's just some like weird free cam thing there's just like no like crosshair to be able to like aim under it's just really really jank and also just like add some customization to like the controls okay like you know how like arsenal works and it has like all that customization things probably exists inside of jailbreak 2 jailbreak is a lot more complex than arsenal 2 at least in terms of controls like honestly you just move and shoot and sometimes switch in between stuff while inside of jailbreak you have a lot more stuff to worry about so yeah it doesn't make sense to you know let that be a thing and also 
this for like PC players as well. Make um you know maybe try to add some um keyboard combinations. I think Phantom Forces has some. But anyway, just add some um maybe if possible keyboard combinations so like people can like change their controls and stuff. I personally probably wouldn't use it too much, but people probably would want to use it. And kind of just alluding oh yeah, reload um button on mobile too. Yeah, that doesn't exist. Like on mobile. You don't have yourself a reload button, so you just have to burn all of your ammo before you um, get the reload. But yeah, I'm next thing right over here. Gun store. Maybe add some saves to, like the gun store. So if you just walk in right over here, you go all the way over here, you just click a button, boom, you get your loadout, okay? It'll probably be a lot more convenient and helpful to people because you know people would just like just put a click one button and boom get all their guns and stuff and it would kind of just be just useful in general it wouldn't be that OP I don't think I mean I don't know what's OP about someone clicking a button and grabbing all the guns that they would have to grab in a more tedious matter in a different way anyway and both teams can do it so yeah it would be pretty fair in my opinion just like gun store saves inside of general like you know how like cars you can just save that go right into here and you just click like a saves button or maybe automatically bring yourself to it you click it and boom and then you get access to all and then boom it just gives you all the guns in the order and another thing is since we are also talking about saves you also have mobile garage whenever you open it it doesn't automatically open the favorites tab now i think that's fine but once i click this tab Tab, it should stay like this forever unless if I uncheck it again because you know if I just throw myself a car or or actually that actually works okay as you can see I just reopen it it's not like that and also just like and also um you know if, if I'm like near a teammate and I spawn a car it just doesn't let me be able to spawn like whatsoever and I mean that, that's not the issue it's just the um the menu just disappear like before it used to just stay on your screen but now it just disappears for some reason like I'd say make it so you know I can spam click a vehicle up but you'll in time. So it's going a bug around to a few shots and vehicles like the uh, Volt Bike and the Doom Buggy and I think like, the Patrol Bike as well. If I go ahead and just shoot this thing out right over here, okay, I think it might actually get it shot out and I heard literally no tire popping sound. That's kind of annoying. They're very intuitive. It's also with Pit Maneuvers too. If I show a vehicle, I should be able to hear it, but no, it doesn't work like that. The driver can hear it, but not the person shooting them out. Here's another kind of glitch that's kind of more powerful that a bunch of people like me definitely use. You hold E in space and you go up right into the air and you can just rock your fuel. So basically, it's kind of like the old Volt Bike glitch, okay? You press space and you hold E and then you get launched up and then you can just rock your fuel. Kind of OP, but anyway. Now, you know what? I'm going to show you this glitch or trick piece. So if I just place this thing like right over there, boom, I got, got stuck right over here. The door won't open, and yeah, criminal can just rob this thing, cops can't get in, kind of overpowered. As you can see, no matter what they do, there's nothing they can do to get in. If I just go just like this, explode, boom, they can go in. So I think the last time I'm just going to go cover here is physics being tied deaf. So I have myself, you know, a pretty good computer. I'm getting like 100 FPS right now, graphics 10. If I go all the way down to graphics 1, I give me like 300 FPS, and I'm like recording too. So um, yeah, so as you can see, you know, this game feels like all oh, very, very smooth like this if i just grab myself an army heli what do you get how fast this thing starts like holy cow so like, i actually look at this this is so freaking fast the reason the physics are just very well tied to fps well if i go up to graphics 10 and my fps is at 100 as you can see it's way less slower but just for joining right over here as you can see i currently have 60 fps it's how like the one with our dealership, I guess. It's not more like it's not myself a drone. So this is what it's, a, it's like at 60 FPS. It's perfectly good. It's just not nearly as fast as if I go ahead and unlock my FPS, go down to graphics one, and got myself 300 FPS. Like, look at this difference here. Like, holy crap. Like, look at it. Like, like, just, just like, look at the speed I'm getting. It's like acceleration. This is so much quicker. If I go up to uh, 60 FPS, as you guys can see, this is definitely a lot slower. And the physics is just tied to FPS inside this game for some reason. And also, guns. If I make my um, uncapped FPS at 300, this is how much recoil the pistol gets. Now if I make my FPS 60, this is how much recoil the pistol gives. And yeah, that's definitely a difference. Like, the recoil should be the same no matter the FPS. It's really, really unfair. Especially for a gun like the revolver that has a very, very high recoil. Like, here's that 60 FPS. And then if I go all the way up to none, here is the recoil. Like, 
that's a very very dramatic difference typically i might graphics 10 and i've gotten plenty used to it now and just like this it's a lot more usable but yeah i'm saying just please remove the physics being tied to fps stuff because the people with way better pcs will just do and will just have major advantages but yeah, that's really it for this video here i really hope uh you know these suggestions um would help i guess mr asimo or whoever or maybe it just gives you guys some of my ideas on like what the heck should probably get fixed or whatever we hope you found this video here and found it informative here and yeah and now i will see you guys next time <laughs>